Hey guys, and I'm back again. Uh, here we are at uh, May the 23rd. And I didn't realize that uh, this weekend was uh, Memorial Day uh, weekend. I was thinking it was next weekend, which the end of the month is next weekend. But anyhow, I had to show you what I picked up on eBay. Uh, this, I saw this out on eBay and I, I wanted it. It's just what it amounts to. This is a totally and completely hand-constructed sheet metal tender. And I think it's made out of real tin plate. I miked it. It's about 0 0.024 in thickness. I use furnace tin when I'm making stuff. And it mics it about uh, 0.018, somewhere in there. So this is a little bit thicker. But I hope the video will show you the detail on this thing. This thing is amazing. This guy is a master. Uh, it is something that I would like to be and fall far, far short. But you got to look at the solder work on this. And all this was formed. All that is soldered. Can you see it there? All that. All of it soldered together on both sides. It is absolutely fantastic now i don't know if you can see it or not but look at the rivet de detail double rows of rivets this guy knew his craft this tender is absolutely and positively outstanding he even fabricated that ladder is completely soldered together individual pieces it is absolutely and positively fantastic now you look at this and then you look at this it's a tender and it's well done and I didn't do it because I don't have that much skill but there is a real there's a difference of night and day between this and the gentleman who did this and I would love to see if he fabricated a locomotive uh, to pull it, because if the locomotive, if, if the tender is any indication whatsoever of the man's skill, uh, the locomotive had to be absolutely positively outstanding. Uh, I can't even come close to this. This is my work. This is scratch built. This is scratch built. The cattle car over there is scratch built. They don't make a pimple on this thing's ass. They don't even come close. They're fine for what I do. I'm very pleased with it, but I would give a left, you know what, to be able to do this quality of work. Now, I don't have a decent locomotive to pull this with, and I don't know what I'm going to do with this tender. In fact, I like it so well, I may not even paint it because even a light paint would hide the details on this. Initially, I absolutely and positively hated the McCoy trucks on there. After looking at it further, it looks perfect with the McCoy trucks. So if I were going to put it into service, and I may put it in service uh, as a bare unit, I leave those trucks on. The only other thing that has to be done is these couplers can be changed out. They're just bolted on. That is way, way too close. There would not be enough there, there's not enough clearance on a curve for that thing. It has to be longer, or the drawbar on the uh, on the uh, locomotive has to be longer. In the same way, uh, over the um, uh, the cow catcher on the back, no way in heck could you hook something up to that without it uh, without it rubbing into one another. Uh, the other thing that came with the tender, and I didn't buy it for this. I bought it strictly for the tender. Is uh, this. I think it's a CMT. Uh, when I was a kid, when I was still in the Navy back in, well, I got out in 73, so I think I had a model railroader magazine that was about a 71 or 72. There was an outfit called Standard Gauge Lines. That's what this comes from. I don't know if this is a Standard Gauge. It was later sold to another outfit, and they called it CMT. Uh, and, uh, I mean, I really didn't want it. I got no use for it. But uh, as I've told you before, I still got this crazy idea of making a, uh, uh, a dummy engine, a steam dummy. 
Uh, and this might be uh, this might be what I'm looking for as far as the bits and pieces. So I don't even know if this thing runs or not. So we'll see uh, we'll see what happens with this. Uh, I might try and clean it up. It's got a a Pittman DC motor in it. I've never messed with anything like this. And if it doesn't run, why uh, I'm screwed because I understand absolutely and positively nothing, and I do mean nothing about electricity. So. That's actually what I wanted to show you guys. Um, uh, I cannot imagine. Oh, something else. Something else. And I forgot to bring my pointer. So maybe I'll use my uh, calipers. You're not going to. Maybe you can see it. There's a bead. He rolled. I don't know how he put the bead in. That bead runs all the way down the side and around the back. And I don't know how he did it. I would love to know how he did it. I have a friend up in uh, Chicago who at one time was an outstanding scratch builder in both O-Gage and HO uh, brass locomotives. And he told me what he used was what I think he called soft brass wire. It's very malleable. And he would, he would solder it in one spot and then he would feed it along and tack it all the way around i've seen this work i would never have known it was i would, would never have known that it was wire nor would i have known that it had been soldered uh, because i can't even i can't begin to solder uh, that well and and i sure as heck can't solder as good as what this guy did let's see we'll show you the underneath side of it this thing is screwed together there are tiny little screws in it as you can just barely see, but uh, this thing is a full, it's truly a piece of art. It it really is. It really is. I, I will be happy, and it's heavy too, by the way. I'll be happy just to have it set on the, uh, on the uh, up on the shelving, uh, and uh, if it ever gets pulled, just uh, pull it like that. Like I say, I don't trust myself to be able to shoot paint that would uh, enhance this tender, uh, not hide the uh, not hide the the rivets. I mean, it ain't going to take much paint to hide those rivets. You can feel them, but my goodness, are they small? Well, that's it, guys. Uh, mine and theirs. Like I say, it don't make a pimple on this thing's ass. Not a, not even close. Not even in the ball ballpark. I may go out throw a rope in the tree in the back and hang myself now after seeing this. It's, that's all that's left for me after all. All right. Have a good, good, safe Memorial Day weekend. Remember those who have went before us uh, because we're soon going to be joining their ranks one day or the other. So uh, it's a, it'll be a good day to pay homage. You guys have a good one. We'll talk with you later. Toodaloo.